lately I've been exploring some uh, services for highlighting, annotating, and sharing uh, content I have uh, found on online. And uh, I, I decided I wanted to write about one of the, uh, and, and show you, one of the newer entries into this, into this category. And this is a, a service called GLASP, G-L-A-S-P. Um, GLASP is similar to many of the other services uh, of this type in that it uh, um, is, is uh, a, a, an extension, a browser extension. And if you look up here, you can, you can see that I've installed uh, this extension. This happens to be the symbol for it. Uh, and what this does then is when I'm uh, looking at um, online content, I'm going to close this window because that will get in the way, it allows me to highlight and annotate and uh, save this material um, in glass. So, you know, I highlight something and what will happen immediately, and I actually, you can see I've used several of these tools because uh, I could uh, save content to any one of them. This, this uh, setup here um, is, is for glass. I can highlight this content using one of the other um, icons that comes up. I could enter a note, uh, etc. So in, in, in that respect, it's, it's not that different from many of the other um, services. Uh, Glass, by the way, likes to uh, describe itself as a social web highlighting platform. Um, in looking at different, uh, different platforms uh, and trying them out for, uh, for a period of time, um, you know, I've been able to differentiate them on many different um, dimensions. And one that has become important to me is um, how I go about finding others that I might want to share my notes with and I might want to view their notes and, and highlights. Um, it turns out that these different services take, take different approaches. So I want to log in now uh, to my GLASP account um, and it's, you know, it, it, it's a, a, a website. And it, contain, and it contains the, you know, information that I have saved. Uh, it contains uh, information recently added by others that I follow. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, so each one of these entries here uh, is, is related to a particular set of notes and highlights generated for one site. Uh, clicking it will reveal... Uh, the various um, uh, comments and, 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 and uh, highlights that someone has collected. Um, and these are stored and, and, and shared. Um, like I said, the, the issue that in, interests me is, uh, is uh, you know, how you go about, um, how you go about uh, um, finding <laughs> things that might be helpful. Um, if you come into one of these services with a group of colleagues, a team, or say you're a teacher and want to explore, uh, you know, notes from uh, for what the students in your class have found, you can basically set up many of these um, approaches um, by entering, you know, these names, the, the, this group, um, the, the team members. That assumes, of course, that, that you know, you are already involved uh, with this group. And, and I sometimes now face a situation that's different in that, uh, you know, I'm retired. I still have professional interests. I still have kind of academic interests. These may have actually developed since I was working and had colleagues. And I find myself with these tools saying, okay, I have my own notes. I have my own highlights. How do I connect with others who have similar interests and would be willing to share 
what 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 they have found um that can be a problem it, it's like any social media issue uh, any social media service you know so how do you build up your collection of friends how do you join in some way so you become part of a group that's sh sharing information uh glass you know kind of makes that easy and uh, that's how uh I want to, uh, you know, try to explain this. So within GLASP, you can see, um, let's see if I can find one. That, okay, so let's come down to this entry. You can see, so this is, a, um, this is an example here. Um, I could show you more notes and annotations if I opened it up. But what I'm mostly interested in showing you is this person has tagged these entries. And you can start um, using these tags. You can use them directly to find related information. But what I'm more interested in is sh showing you how I might use these tags to uh, connect with, with other individuals. Now, these tags are sometimes called topics um, up here, up here, and you can see uh, you know, there's tags that already exist and maybe I'm interested in. I didn't have anything to do with this list or recommending these. But up here you have the tags or topics that, uh, that I have established. So, so these are things that I have attached um, to the highlights and notes that I have contributed uh, to, to, to GLASP. So if I click on one of these, say I'm interested in uh, knowledge management, uh, which would be kind of an example uh, that would fit this. And I can see, you know, actually other people's stuff too uh, r related. And they have tagged their, their content, as you can see here, in, 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 you know, in this way. Um, but, the, but the useful thing, I think, here is, okay, I could find that information just this way. This is publicly, it's assumed, it's understood to be publicly available because you make that commitment when you use this service. Um, so I can use the topic or tag to locate related information that's been re recently added. Um, but I can also identify individuals. So uh, um, I don't know, say that I'm interested in, 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 in Carla here. I can click on her and I can bring up um, you know, this particular note that she's added but the key thing here I want you to see is now I can uh, connect to her and I can follow her. So this is kind of how the exploratory process works. You find individuals uh, with similar interests and then at least for a time uh, you, you follow them because you are interested in related things. So things kind of uh, expand maybe. Uh, to reveal other kinds of things that, that might be of value to you. Um, and this is an interesting process. It's, it's all completely understood by GLASS participants. My point is you can get beyond your own insights and your own interests by, by either identifying um, similar content based on these tags that are added or you can use these tags to, you know, search through the entries associated with that tag and find other individuals who maybe are reading and commenting on related content and follow them. So uh, that's GLASP. And uh, that's why I, uh, I find it to be of unique value.